Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 7, Planet Base. I've got the game paused because I want to read something to you. I told you last episode at the end I would try to find out some information on intruders and I would share that information with you. And I am a man of my word, so this is what I've got. Found this on the uh, uh, Steam forums. Alright, so... Intruders can come on a colonist ship or a visitor ship. They will not come on a, tra a trader. So a colonist ship it could be an intruder. So that's the first thing. Second thing is always slow your game down to the slowest speed as soon as you have a ship coming in. What you're looking for evidently is when you see the people get off the ship, click on them. Uh, if it says it's a visitor, then it's an intruder, okay? Because visitors will not come on a colonist ship. They will come on a visitor ship. Or what do they call it? Um, I forget. But they will not, according to what I'm reading, they will not come on a trading ship. Uh, and then those visitor ships will not come until you build a starport so you can get them because the intruders are based on your reputation which is over 100 so if you have a colonist ship slow the game down check everybody that's getting off of that ship and if any one of them you know like we we clicked on the guy that said he was a uh, like him he says he's a worker right so if it says worker medic whatever you're good if it says visitor and it's off of a colonist ship he's an intruder at that point you have a couple of options so the first way is before he gets inside you can go to your airlock and you can turn it off once you hit the turn off power it won't open and he can't get in now he will turn around and start walking to the other one when he gets half you know about a little over halfway turn this one back on and then turn this one off and then you'll bounce him back and forth, and eventually he will run out of oxygen and die. You could do that. The second thing is trigger your red alert. Come here, trigger a red alert. Now, what you want to be careful of is you want to make sure that your guards are en route to the area. Because as soon as they spot the intruder, they will come in just like we did, and they'll start shooting at them. Now, if it's a one-on-one -on -one battle then typically your guard will die. So FYI, uh, what you want is multiple guards. Now, once you trigger a red alert, the guards will fight no matter what happens. But if you trigger a red alert, then all of your other colonists, like your engineers and your workers, they'll go in and start throwing punches, or they could try to, well, now see, here's a colonist ship see what we got here an engineer an engineer and an engineer all right well that's fine we have that many yeah we do need engineers for our machines fair enough but that's how you check them and you're looking for one that actually says visitor if it says visitor that's bad news um, don't trigger the red alert for your uh, civilians to start fighting until your guards are in the area because one intruder with a gun can wipe out a ton of uh, your civilians. Somebody made a comment in here that they had, uh, they had a starport, they had a, tr a ship land, and they had 10 intruders get off. We just had three last episode. And with the 10, it wiped out a whole base of like 60 or 70 people. Uh, so that can happen. So plan accordingly. All right, we do have, let's see, where are we at? This way. All right. CNT5, that's a carrier bot. That's bad. All right, we've got 11 carrier bots. Remember, you want more of those. You'd like carriers to be doing all the hauling. Uh, we are down to one constructor. We do have two driller bots. And let's see, so we have 
carrier bot production, one driller bot production, and then four repair pads. So we're all right there. I don't really think there's anything we need to build. All right, power spine. We're very early in the morning. We should easily be maxed out. Water's fine and oxygen is getting a little tell you what we're gonna build another oxygen generator can I can I sneak it in right there all right so we're gonna build another oxygen generator just trying to stay ahead of the curve here we've got 1800 water so even if we get up tight on water we've got a lot to fall back on because we're only consuming 15 right so that should last several nights uh, let's see 75 people power grid I'm trying to see which one of these batteries is still charging up here you're good you're good there it is and it's good all right so all of our power is good we're good on spares we're good on medical supplies so the goal you know you've noticed i've been selling a lot in the last episode or two so the goal is eventually to transition to where we're selling metal and plastics because you're getting more money in return than you are uh, for ore and starches all right Got here. See if we can catch somebody being sneaky. Worker, engineer, worker. All right. So I think we're okay there. I don't know how often they come. All right. I think we're all right there. Let's drop all these down to what we wanted. But I am going to disable colonist right now. We're up to 78 people. Let's let that food start to build back up and materialize. We've got all the bunks built in the new dorm. Now again, the bunks do not give any uh, morale, whereas the cabins do. They'll get morale back. But if you have enough TVs, and then we also have the, uh, the little dome out here, all of the machinery in here, the benches, gives hat gives morale. The workout bars and the exercise mills all give uh, positive morale. So keep that in mind. Oh, we did have a, another one here. That's interesting. Uh, wow, look at all the starches out there, man. Woo! All right, I tell you what, let's, uh, I'm going to up the production there. And I think somebody just started cutting the grass because my light's dimmed out. All right, let's see, are, what are we prioritizing? Pri well, you know, I probably don't need to prioritize that. I do need medicinal herbs, so we are a little low on that. I've only got I've only got two. So let's come over here and I am gonna drop in two more medicinal herbs there. I'm alright with that. And I'm going to add an onion, a radish. Nope, don't want the corn. I want a wheat. We'll build from there. Get a little bit more starch and food production going. And everything looks okay. We're up to two semiconductors. I could probably use... probably use another one of those factories but you know eh. 
this area is not under. Right, so again, according to what I read, you will never get an intruder off of a trading ship. Allegedly. Alright, 60% commission. They do have the colossal panel. Hmm. Let's go ahead and buy that. It is a lot. Now look, 10 of those for 100. That's not bad. Um, 20. We may not have enough. We're not going to have enough money. We're going to dismiss it. Then, of course, when you're on speed four, you can see how fast they move. You really can't see anything, right? Oh, we saw a laser shoot out there. Component was built. Not sure what they built, but okay. All right, we're working hard out here. I tell you what, I'm going to unprioritize that. So what that's going to do is it'll keep the priority. We'll have three workers at each mine. That'll be nine of our workers. Uh, where are we at here? Here we go. So nine. I say nine, but we do have two driller bots. So seven of our workers will be out in the mines first to keep them fully staffed. Should be how it works. And then the rest will be in working at machinery as they can. I heard something crash down over there. There you go, right there. Ooh. Big impact, big impact. Give me a second. I'm going to switch over to my other screen here. All right, I just wanted to get my recording software back up so I could keep track of time. I had a, a browser pulled up so I could see to tell you guys about the intruders because I thought that was some pertinent information. All right, I would certainly like some metal to start getting stockpiled. Now, you know, then the thing is, every you know, everything in here, there's metal, there's metal. So these are at least all full. We just lost another carrier bot. That's too bad. Now, how are we doing in here? Well, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Okay, whew. All right, 55% commission. We're going to send you off. How's our water look? We're all right on water. You know, I could. This is something maybe we should do. This is our large canteen, right? I'm going to put an extra table. put down some extra water fountains in there and I think oh I didn't put any water fountains in here did I oh I did uh, yeah tell you what I'm gonna delete that one two more water fountains in there and Let's go ahead and put, I can't put one there. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Doesn't make sense, but why ask why? All right, we'll put one more in there as well. You know, we gotta take care of the, the liquefaction needs for everybody. Now that is gonna dig into our water a little bit. Again, we've got enough in reserve but after all these are built, I want to check that water again because it should raise up, raise up our water usage. 
Not a lot, but maybe enough we want to drop another water in. All right, we've got some more uh, oxygen going on here. And I, I'm contemplating, I don't have, All right, so those only went up. All right, let's go ahead and call a yellow alert. That's to get everybody inside with the sandstorm. Go up the speed. We'll just let them run here for a while. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Now, with the telescopes, two telescopes, we're getting a lot of lead time on... Uh, on warning running 76 percent accuracy on the lasers so that's good I wonder if there's bad weather coming my, my, my little sad dog is under my desk and he don't do that unless the weather's getting bad all right we did lose a little bit of downtime I wonder with the notification Maybe I wait for the approaching soon warning to come up. Oh, there you go. Trading ship. All right, 50% commission. I could probably live with that. Let's sell off uh, 10 of those. Try some spares. All right, we'll see what happens there. It's 50%, so if it doesn't go through, it won't hurt my feelings. All right, let's see. We've got... Two, four, we got all five of these done, and three of these. All right, so we're, we're almost 100% capacity. Both telescopes, all three securities. Oh, I had two other telescopes. I wonder if I need those. And I don't know what the radio does. No idea. I guess we could look. Radio. I don't even, have I built a radio antenna? I don't think so. I have not. So, you know what? If we're gonna have that, I guess we just assume Put one out there. All right, he is patiently waiting in the sandstorm. Looks like something off of Tatooine. Of course, you know we have our oyster farms out here, right? You guys know. All right, let's speed it up here to speed two. Trying to see if we can kind of gauge when it's starting to slow down. All right, so they should start running outside here as quick as their little legs and motorized feet will let them. Tread treads or whatever they've got. Do have another laser down here. I think we're doing all right, guys. All 
I would not would not mind adding another okay we built a radio antenna there we go oh it can intercept distress calls ooh okay we may not even need that till we have a starport but then again starport ups the chances of having an invaders uh, coming into your base all right we've gotten all these you can see we're starting to get the yellow so I'm wondering I'm gonna ask for a hundred percent biologist to come in and see if we can rectify that get that cranking out a little bit better And, you know, this is just a never-ending cycle now. Mine ore, make metal. Grow crops, make, get starches, make plastics. Now, you can see the plastics are starting to really ramp up. But, I'm gonna, uh, that's why I took the priority off. And this is a point where it might be a good idea to put, like, all your metal in one and all your plastics in another. Then if you do need to prioritize one or the other, then at least you are able to prioritize only the one you want. Uh, the other thing it said is if you do get a, a visitor, check their bars. Because if you have a, a ship come in on a star pad, a visitor will only be coming to do something like to get food to get water if his bars are full he's likely an intruder but that won't trigger I guess till he's in your base so something to keep an eye on All right, we're up to four we've got guns all right we could get five more um, can I fit another Yes, I could fit another gun canister in there. Sweet. That's good. So that gives us the ability to hold, what, 20 guns now? 20 guns, I think. All right, we did have this little one over here. We've got a couple of exercise bars. That works. Gives people a little area over here. You have the bar. What are we doing here? I'm gonna put another drink machine in there. We already have our sports bar going on with three TVs. You know, but we don't have to cater to big groups. We'll have some single tables now. We're, uh, we're diverse. All right. We've got two guys in there, two driller bots, two driller bots. How many driller bots do we freaking have now? Five. That's sweet. I thought it held three people. Maybe it's three people and two bots. Maybe. I don't know. Right, who we got working in here? Carrier bot eight. And we did have a limit set on that, yes? 20. That works. So we're at 14 now. That'll be fine. So when it gets to 20 carrier bots, it'll shut down production on this machine or these two machines. And then it won't make anymore. Now, they'll actually have materials in it. And uh, as soon as one dies, the, it'll, you know, they'll start working again. It'll turn back on automatically. So that is all good. So you have to have a table. I've actually seen them eat on the floor. 
but uh, you know that was very early on all right we have 10 ore 11 starches I think I think let's uh I'm gonna add make four more metal in there. Just to, uh, and then that way we'll have, ooh, hold on. We have possible incoming. We have an injured person here. Biologist, all right. So we should be all right there. All right, we are good. All right, I still would like We'll see what he does over here. This is what I'm looking for is you don't want these these bars because this affects your harvest, I think, or the time it takes to harvest. So you want to keep these without any symbols above them like this where it's in good or excellent. When you get these little warning indicators, that is uh, that means it's taking the biologist too long to get there. So... Biologists are working this door, dome, this dome, and they are also working these three tissue synthesizers, which those should in all likelihood be a little closer together. Maybe, maybe. I'm going to start watching from this way, just a different view. And that way I can also see the landing pad a little bit better. we're getting off into the distance there this might be the biggest base I've ever built I wonder why he's got a gun slow it down See, I can't. He's got a gun. I can't tell who. He's got a gun. All right. I wish there was an easier way to, to look at that. All right, food stocks are low. All right, so this is a problem wasn't expecting that so let's immediately turn off colonists and I am going to all right we got the wheat I'm gonna bump that I'm gonna go ahead and bump that rice and we are gonna come in and we are gonna go radish and lettuce That'll up that. I really want to keep some wheat because the wheat's what I want. Potato, onion, onions are red. Tell you what, we'll drop this potato too here in a minute. Let's speed it up, get it harvested. go and we will bump that and we will do another radish all right so that's all going on we'll get that hopefully that'll up food production all right we've got 11 oh you know what hold on I'm gonna tell them to prioritize over here it's a trade ship. 60%, so no, nothing we want or need. Ten ore, one metal, 18 starches, 
So I think I'm going to come over here. I want to prioritize this one. It's got some starches. Well, actually, you know what? No, I'm not. Where's this one over here? Let's prioritize that one because it's all metal all the time. Metal! Yeah! All good. All right, well, we are at a stopping point. So um, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about what's going on. Um, and uh, hope you guys are enjoying the save. I'm really liking this game. Uh, after I finish this, I may jump over and do a Surviving Mars, uh, which I really enjoyed as well. Uh, and that was another game that uh, in the recent channel update that I did, for one of you guys uh, that was one of the games that I pointed out that I hadn't played in a while and uh, really do like it so liking this um, hope you guys are hit the like button subscribe and all that other good stuff we'll see you here on planet base next episode bye